Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's summarize what we've learned about measuring the distance to stars. It's not a simple technique. There's a number of things that we do. So first we use color filters. We use blue filters, ultraviolet filters. We use visible light filters and potentially other filters as well, like red filters, infrared filters and so forth to get what we call the color index. The most important one is the difference between the blue and the visible light filters. The difference in this case for Sirius is 0, 0.00. Then we use that distance and the table of the different color indices and then we determine the type of star we're dealing with. In the case of Sirius we're dealing with an A1 type star. Then we calculate the temperature based upon the color index. And the temperature equation is right here, so the B minus V goes into the equation here and here. We calculate the temperature. This calculation for Sirius will give you something slightly over 10,000 Kelvin, when we know the actual temperature is more around 9,940. Again, indicating that nothing here in astronomy gives you the perfect answer, it gives you a close answer. Then we use the HR diagram and the luminosity to calculate the luminosity or determine the luminosity of the star. So the ratio of the luminosity of Sirius to the luminosity of the Sun depends upon the difference in the temperature, let's just call it 10,000 Kelvin divided by 5750, raise that to the fourth power from the uh, Stefan Boltzmann's law, and then multiply the radius ratio of the radius of Sirius to the radius of the Sun and, call, and square that as well. Again, that comes from the Stefan Boltzmann's law and that gives you, so here's what the equation looks like, and that gives you the uh, luminosity ratio. I guess I didn't, oh, there it is. Let me put it somewhere else so it's easier to see. So that's equal to about uh, 26. So the ratio of the luminosity of Sirius to the luminosity of the Sun is somewhere between 25 and 26. Then we use the calculation to find the absolute magnitude. It's minus 2.5 times the log of the ratio of 26 times the luminosity of the sun divided by the base luminosity. And when we do that, we get 1.24. So that's the absolute magnitude of Sirius. Then we use the difference between the apparent magnitude, which is about minus 1.46, minus 1.44, somewhere in that neighborhood, and the magnitude that we just calculated, the absolute magnitude, Take that difference divided by 5, add 1 to it, use that as exponent of 10, and that gives you the distance in parsec. Then we convert that to light years, 1, one parsec being 3.26 light years. And when you go through all that process, that's how we determine the distance to a star. And then the best you can hope for is something within about a 90% accuracy. And that is how it's done. A lot of work for kind of a correct number. That is the best way we've got. So far. So far.